Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at an applet that uh, helps you understand the difference between type 1 and type 2 errors and includes power in there. So type 1 and type 2 errors, if you remember, are the types of errors you can make when doing a hypothesis test. Type 1 being if the null is true, incorrectly stating the alternative is true. Type 2 being if the alternative is true, incorrectly stating the null is true. The applet page here contains a very good explanation of this. You might want to take a read through if you have a minute. And the applet link is really hidden on this page. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, inside this yellow box below the image, it'll link to the applet. Okay. So we have our applet open here. Uh, let me describe what you're seeing here, and then I'll show you the controls to manipulate it. So there's two normal curves here, two bell curves here. One centered around zero, and one here in the default centered around positive one. So if the null hypothesis is true, this first curve here, this light blue curve, is the true distribution of the population parameter. If on the other hand, the alternative hypothesis is true, this other curve, which is very multicolored, dark blue, red, and yellow, is the correct distribution of the population, distribu uh, the population parameter. Now, if you look up here, you can see the type 1 error. So alpha, the probability of type 1 error is 15.9%. Beta, the probability of type 2 error is 50%, and the power of the test is 50% in this setup. We have two controls. Uh, first, let me show you the one down here on the bottom. Position of mean, assuming HA is correct. If you click and drag on this, you can adjust this alternative distribution. You can put it somewhere a little more reasonable. I think it's a little cluttered over there if we spread it out. And now you can kind of see the distinction between these two curves. The second one is alpha boundary adjustment. And again, you can click and drag and move this left and right. So typically, we use alpha of what? We use alpha of 5%. So let me set mine here to 5%. Sorry, it's taking me a second. I have a trackpad, and it's a little hard to manipulate. There we go. So of course, my z statistic is 1.64, which is what I would expect. Now you'll notice the red area here is the type 1 error. So that means if the null was true, if this was the true population distribution of the uh, population parameter, but we accidentally claimed this was correct, the alternative. Well, it says 5% region over here. On the other hand, the type 2 error, if the alternative is true, but we claim the null is true, is this yellow region here. And the power of the test, which kind of essentially is how small of an effect you can detect, is this dark blue here. And the thing you really notice, the, the key fact to take away from this applet, is a relationship between the type 1 error, the type 2 error, and the power. You'll notice is as I move this alpha up here, those values all move together. There's some relationship between them. Same thing if I move the distribution down here. Alpha stays the same, right, because that's based solely on the null hypothesis. But the power and the type 2 error change. Uh, thank you. I hope this was helpful.